back bumper right now. But he is defending that position. Bronsworth, he's crossways, and here comes Ranger to the inside. And they both drove it deep into the turn. Oh, my goodness, contact between LaBerge and Hathaway. Hathaway almost went up and over the hood of the 90. Howard, you can see him looking for a gear and have a look from Hathaway's perspective. LaBerge was tired trying to come across the groove, I think. See, and that's smart. It's also coaching, and we got a car around. Jason White in a cloud of smoke up in turn number four. A little bit of help for me. to see what happened. Look at Dumoulin's right hand. He's adjusting on the brake adjuster. Makes a, yeah, a little bit of contact with Jason. Going down into turn number one will slow things down. Wow. Ooh, just from the bottom right up to the outside, and they make contact. Not the way she wants to end her day as you see that 28 machine. For second, Ranger up high and two cars side by side and now going around. Dumoulin and Hathaway contact and both cars are destroyed. Wow, that is heavy damage and fluid just pouring out of that 47 machine. The other car involved, the 24 of Donald Teach. He caught it in the right rear, but there you see make his way back to the pits. Let's run on board with the driver of the three. Wow. That tire, well, let's, all we're gonna see is the tail end, and what, what I notice is the tires are not. Jason White inside the top 10, if you look back years ago, and oh. Drug, oh, and just like that, into the wall, as the back end of the 21 steps out, he's lost the rear deck lid. Debris on the racetrack, full caution now. And he for that debris. Slowed. The top 10, a driver who really likes road courses, but he may not like this, a heavy hit. You know what, it's a good thing he got the car so far sideways, because if he had slapped the, let's watch. Put themselves out, it is Cameron who's able to open up a bit of a gap until now. You could hear Cameron losing control, Traction. Oh my goodness! Contact from one car. Oh, great job by everyone to get around as Mark Antoine Cameron backs off of the tire wall. He bounces are flying off the GM Pie number 22. He was nowhere near the apex of that corner. He had overshot it. I wonder if we're going to get an onboard because I want to listen for the chatter. It you oh, heard the first squeal, yeah. his tires breaking traction, and then you hear nothing and... Finished 11th in race number one. That dropped him from third in points to fourth in points behind LP Dumoulin. Oh. Hey, we got problems. This up in turn number one. You see the spring bouncing as the 04, Brandon White goes around. Brandon White goes around and marked it out. Let's ride on board. Whoa. Look to... Three. And we got problems on the front. His driver, Jason Hathaway. But have a look at what happened to Kalika. As the exit turn three and come down the long straightaway, J.F. Dumoulin with a good launch in that 0-4 machine. Whoa, big stack up. Alex LeBay, J.F. LeBerge in the 91. Who else is in that? Anthony Simone in the one and they've already called a caution i'm a little bit surprised because you don't know what debris was going to lose so let's have a look at what goes on down into the turn alex lebay got turned a little bit sideways by jf leberge and boy did the nose of that car dig into the into the wall and come to basically a and struggling here once again as he is currently in the free pass position should a caution flag come out. There's a couple of really good battles on this racetrack. You mentioned the battle for position number three. Taylor to the inside of Cameron. Little contact sends him up around corner number four. They save it. Cameron will lose the spot, though, to Taylor. That was exciting. Now, if you're Brett Taylor, you better get the heck out of oh, there. No, he didn't. No. I'll do <laughs> you saw that coming, didn't you? I have this conversation a fair bit, and it's sometimes with Dave Bradley on TSN. You need him to pass the 27, and then you need to pass both of them. Don't wreck. But that 22 has been scary. Sideways contact, 27 of Ranger around. Can't save it off of Camaranda in front of the leader. LaCroix gets by. Yellow flag.
And Cameron just 04 car and the 64 again tonight. Uh, Brandon White's in the 04, and then the 64 is Mark Dilley. So could Kevin LaCroix? Oh, problem Teach spins in front, of the, in front of the 17 and the 3, and no contact. I don't think there was any, yeah, I don't think there was any contact to still. LaCroix is there as well, single file. How hard do you ship it in if you're DJ Cunnington? Hard as it'll go! Contact! Oh, that, I don't know why that happened, but hopefully the yellow flag flies. Uh, Trois-Rivières, Quebec in the sixth place position. And then uh, behind him is the seven, uh, the zero four. And then DJ Kennington. So J.F. Dumoulin and in the 22 alongside, looking to the flagger stand, looking for that green flag. And there oh, it is. Oh, wreck. Big wreck on the front straightaway. T.J. Renamato hard into the inside wall. Cat and mouse were watching people. Uh, catastrophe for our points competitors who are restarting deep in the field. So we look at that replay. Man, I'd love to get that one more time deep in the field. It looked like one car came up to speed. Another one didn't. Oh, Gary. Was that Gary Clute that got into that as well? Clute in the 59. So like at least three, maybe four, and minor damage on a fifth car there. And then wow. the 37 put it right away. But uh, we go to a full course yellow now with the laps winding down. And that was the completion of lap 48, working lap 49 of a schedule 51. Uh, do we look at overtime, or are we going to finish this under a full course yellow? Oh, they won't finish. Trouble in turn one, Carey Mix goes around in the 0-2 machine. He will get that car refired. Application, et que est-ce qu'on va la donner à Michaud ou on va simplement pas donner de passe gratuite de Lucky Dog sur cette neutralisation? C'est ce qu'on verra du côté des officiels de NASCAR. The bottom. LeBay going to try one more time. Kevin Lacroix runs him down the racetrack. Kevin Lacroix defends that inside position. Last time through three and four. Andrew Ranger working his way through the corner. LeBay to the inside of Kevin Lacroix for the win in the Visit New Hampshire 100. It's Andrew Ranger. Lacroix stuffs it into the wall. Will he cross the start finish line? He has got to get the car running. Oh, Kevin Lacroix after contact with Alex LeBay. Look, at, he is 20 feet. On to 12th right now. We're gonna have a replay. Man, oh man, hard contact. I wonder if they can show that again and just back it up so where we can see. Kevin Lacroix defended the inside the previous lap. Oh, LeBay comes up the hill. No question about it. They were going down the back stretch, and LaCroix ran him down to the inside of the racetrack. Not, not saying there's anything wrong with it, as now he's going to get out of the